Thanks for joining me again for another Pixie Talks review vlog. Pixie Talks, Pixie Talks, reviews and vlogs at Pixie Talks. Okay guys, I'm getting serious about catching up with Doctor Who. I know it took about a year in between the first and second Doctors, but no more! Today it's time to talk about the third Doctor. And I liked him so much that I even made a t-shirt of him. Props to you if you get the reference. So let's dive right in to John Pertwee. More Doctor Who! Okay, John Pertwee was, once again, very different from the previous Doctors. Not only in the character himself, but also in the tone and ambiance of the series, the style of the stories, and the types of companions. He was, for me, both a delight in some ways and a glorious letdown in other ways. But there is a sort of overarching plot line to this Doctor's adventures, so let's cover that for starters. This Doctor begins the series with amnesia and without a functional TARDIS. He remembers some things, like the fact that he is a Time Lord, but not other things, like the people he met prior or how to fix his TARDIS. This is because he is being punished by the Time Lords and sent into exile, exile being in this case Britain in the 70s. For most of the series he is confined to Earth and instead of going on many grand adventures through time and space, works with UNIT to solve strange mysteries and crimes. Unfortunately, landlocking the Doctor like this sort of took away some of my favorite parts of the show. It no longer has the weird horror vibe that the prior series did and instead feels like a series of investigative dramas. I don't know if there's any real correlation here, but it's worth noting that the tone of this series very much reminded me of Get Smart, which was incredibly popular in the years leading up to this Doctor. Of course, budget restraints have also been cited as reasons for restricting the Doctor in this way, but however you explain it, I feel like this greatly took away from the charm of the Doctor Who experience. However, while the setting and restrictions of the Third Doctor may not have been my cup of tea, John Pertwee himself certainly was. Oh my word does that man have some charm and charisma. From the first scene where he gets to really showcase his personality, I knew I was going to thoroughly enjoy watching him. He was incredibly witty and fun, sarcastic but not unlikable. He was, more so than his predecessors, really the kind of man that would make you want to follow him into the unknown. His companions and other secondary characters are a little less stellar. Not that any of them were awful, they were just all sort of passive and cardboard. Brigadier, the leader of UNIT, was at his best a bit comedic and at his worst frustratingly annoying. The only companion from here that I truly enjoyed was the wonderful Sarah Jane Smith, who was only around for the last season of this Doctor. Incidentally, the last two seasons are the ones where the Doctor's TARDIS has been restored and the stories get fun again, so she does have more to work with. Her introduction in the Time Warrior was a real treat and fleshed out a delightfully feisty and empowered woman. There were some really vibrant episodes in this series, some of my favorites being Day of the Daleks, The Three Doctors, and Planet of the Spiders. Planet of the Spiders is the last episode of The Third Doctor, and for me is incredibly notable as it explores some of the core character of the Doctor and gives some stunning looks into his mind, a thread that I really hope will continue to be explored in later incarnations. All in all, I have mixed feelings. I loved watching John Pertwee as a doctor, but was less crazy about the shift in story style and tone of writing for this series. But it was plenty enjoyable and there was lots to like. I'd go on adventures with John Pertwee any day. Next up, however, is the famed Tom Baker, and I'm very much anticipating this one. <laughs> And that's it for my review of John Pertwee, the third Doctor. And I am so excited, you guys, because next month is Christmas month! Oh, yeah! So, I'll see you guys then. Bye!